Yanya is still injured, and a couple of other people have decided to take a break, work on lead. So Oriane Berton will climb first as she qualified in last for this final. Brooke Rabatou will come out second, then Annie Sanders, the 15-year-old, Jilou Lo, Fanny Gibert, and Natalia Grossman. Well, this is boulder number one. Uh, things kick off on the right-hand side. I'll explain the rules while I'm here. You start where the green uh, tape is, one limb on each bit of tape, so probably two feet down low, two feet on the, two hands on the starting hold. They then got to traverse over to the left on some slopey holds. The zone, that's the first scoring opportunity, and it looks much better than it is, that hold. And they've actually adjusted that zone from this graphic you'll see in a minute when Orion's on the wall. I also believe they took one of the holds off of the first um, gray volume that she's going to grab, but they do that. They have to tweak things, especially after our qualification round where the women <laughs> were just showing that they were incredibly capable <laughs> of doing Absolutely. all the boulders. Yeah, those 3D scans happen quite a long time before the root setters do their fine tweaks. So yeah, we see some changes sometimes. Now this move, uh, kind of a fall into a very bad dish. Yeah, and the, the dish is okay. Um, and I think you can either do it this way and then come down and palm or commit to falling over in one motion with the hand going to the zone and then uh, into the pocket after, but she chose what felt most secure for her, which we see Orion do all the time, uh, kind of falling off of it there. It's very bad. I, I asked the root setters whether they'd sanded that volume. It <laughs> felt so smooth, but apparently it's standard. <laughs> I mean, some of them do wear down pretty quick or get kind of glassy pretty quick. It just kind of depends. Yeah, not much texture going on out there. So Orian into the corner. She'll look to bring the right foot up at some point, kind of back heel or press with the toes. Creeping the fingers into that dish. And just kind of going with that same method she did before, although it does look like her foot's a little higher. Yeah, she's nice little drop knee. Super lean Ooh. out doing it like that. Always sneaks up on you so quickly. You wouldn't think it's that much of a difference, but you really do feel it. Yeah, exactly. It comes for everyone. <laughs> So, Oriane, same movement with the feet. Tries to get stood up. There's a right jib where her right hand is. And will she be listening to you? She has got her foot lower. Yeah, she's kind of done it this way and then hiked it up a bit more, but it, oh, yeah, she's doing it lower this time. And yeah, she's been awarded the zone. There we go. It's a bit of a better position. Kind of scooting that foot around. Oof, tricky. Cool to see that happen for her. It explains why she was so emotional when she won that goal. <laughs> it really does. All right, Brooke looking smooth through the start. This is her flash attempt. See how she approaches this section here. Already has the foot pretty low. Looks like she's going to kind of go into that. Oh. So Brooke, third time lucky here. She gets it Moved this time. her foot to the right a bit on that hold that time where a lot less rubber is. Works the feet through now. Looks so good standing up into that corner. Super confident. Ooh, that's a good idea. Bringing that left foot out might make it more secure to get into the pocket. Yeah, the right hand is a long way away, isn't it? She's just got a finger on it. Oh. Now, Brooke might want to change things up here because she hasn't got a zone yet. Yeah. And even if it involves just getting to the zone, getting to the zone yeah. and just using it in some way. That's a good point. To get on the scoreboard because she, she will want to get something out of this boulder now with 36 seconds to go. Looking unlikely to finish it, but you never know. That's true. You do never know. But getting the zone, very important here. And, so. of course, you have to change that body position to get the zone. You can't just touch it. Yeah, that foot won't count. Whoa, the Whoa. use of the wall. Very good. Now, she did move there. I would give it to her, but I'm not sure they have. Yeah, we wait Which that. is scary, but you might as well keep going and Push. do that appeal later. <laughs> oh, good yeah. effort. We did that at team trials. <laughs> yes, well, we did We did do a few events. I've done Morioka. a couple. And it's really Yeah, Morioka and then in uh, Munich, and it's, it works well. But anyway, that's for the future. Right now, we're watching what could be the future of USA climbing, Annie Sanders, as she presses into the corner. I feel like she's gonna probably go with trying to match the pocket first and then bring the palm down. 
Oh, she got her foot on the jib, I think, Oof. which could be better. So high up, though. When she drops down, it's going to be a long way. She's honestly, though, she's only like 5'4, but she has a very good reach, actually. So I think the position for her is actually okay. Yeah, you can see how much tension she's getting off that palm as well. Just trying to get herself set to release that right foot. Oh, so tenuous, this move. It is interesting because it does maybe seem like the way Brooke went about it could be enticing to keep moving through the boulder. Andy nicely found that body position, though, to actually bring the foot down this way. It's kind of like going backwards to go forwards. <laughs> yes, no, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. Oh. She, does, she is really good with her feet. Um, just whether it's trusting them or just using them in ways you wouldn't even think and then working to her advantage, I, it's really cool to see. So Annie goes again, big support from the crowd here, as you'd expect. Gets the dish easily with the left hand. I'm trying to watch her left foot, remembering where she placed that. Yeah, I think she kept it there until she was in this more secure position. And then, did she bring the right foot in? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's, there we go. And then she foot matches. So impressive. Really good control. Oh, no. You're doing that much, but like you said, holding that tension is way more strenuous than people assume, I think, a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm glad you said that, because it does look almost restful. I know, <laughs> when right? She had her foot up, but it's not. <laughs> All right, Annie's got 30 seconds. She needs the motor here if she wants the top. Just bad feet throughout this boulder. Finds the palm, keep an eye on the clock. I think it's gonna be really hard to get this done with 15 seconds. I don't know if that's actually possible. Yeah, she's gonna have to camp us away up oh. it almost. She does fall. Totally, and it does take time. Experience is a, a lot to do with it. And also the way we've structured things at U USA Climbing, um, not all the athletes have to compete at team trials or nationals anymore, so we have a lot of pre-qualified athletes. So, you know, this was her first time competing against Brooke Natalia in Hachiochi, so. Yeah, it's a different game, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's sometimes? a little different. <laughs> well, Gilles and Gilles then the rest of the amazing athletes. Yes, exactly, there's a few here. Gilles Lulor gets stood up. This young lady came out of nowhere last year. I remember going to her coach in Innsbruck and just saying, just tell me about her. <laughs> Who is she, what does she do? And during COVID, no one knew how good she was because she hadn't been tested on the international scene. So it was very interesting. Her coaches were as surprised as anyone, I think, how well she was doing. Yeah, she's kind of that age that because of COVID, she kind of missed out on jumping into the circuit like at that younger 15, 16. Yeah, every now and again, a root setter will put in a sort of red herring zone, which I always <laughs> think is incredibly unfair. Oh, yeah. I, I do love that she climbs with so much confidence. Like, so much confidence that you would think she'd been on the circuit for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, this is it. She was untested, and it turns out she's a world beating. So exciting times for her and Team China. And Team China will be uh, featured heavily in the speed finals later on. They've also come back from COVID very strong. Definitely doing the same kind of beat as she did before. She looks solid with that left hand. Yeah, the angle on that pocket isn't so terrible. Looking for a little s screw hole, possibly. Yeah. Oof. Which is well, but she had the palm already, and I think that if Zilu can get into that position, it would definitely serve her well. Um, or maybe just... I wonder if you can cross through to the gray vault. Oh, no, it's too... No, that's too, too steep <laughs> of an angle. Well, yeah, foot swaps are just so low percentage. Yes, especially <laughs> <coughs> when there's no friction on them. <laughs> so it's not easy. Gilu drops into the zone. I was about to say oh, she needs to do that at some point. because See, and now it's so much easier to actually do that. She has more control with the palm there. She has time to get this done. 30 seconds on the clock. Makes the match, but you've still got to think about the feet. I mean, I mean she's not standing on anything, really, with that left. Yeah, it's still quite difficult to get over to the other side of the volume to actually use that foot. These body positions are just very difficult. It looks like she's just going to try to jump, but I think only Annie got to the zone on her first attempt, so falls eh, 
a little more available here and not too detrimental. We're not in a flash round currently, so. All right, Fanny into the layback star moves. She presses out left into the corner. I feel like she's going to definitely try to bring that foot up to that screw on as well. Kind of go with that method. Oof, losing her balance there. So Fanny just figuring out the movements of the body there. That's the uh, current scores. You can see everyone's got a zone. Brooke just squeaking it in before the time ran out. So once more into the corner. Oh man, she's really struggling to find that position there. I think this really speaks to the subtlety of this boulder too. Like this body position is very delicate and difficult to find. And more so than you would actually expect at all. So it's it's interesting how it's testing them. Yeah, Fanny looks good getting stood up. It's from here on where things get tricky oh, as she goes down. Oh, there we go. That was smart. That nice drop knee. And yeah, now she's got the tension off that palm. She should be able to swap a foot. But she's looking back at that right foot, trying to work it out. Annie had a much higher foot on the Ooh. Lots of love from the crowd for Natalia Grossman. Won the back-to-back -back Salt Lake World Cups last year. And uh, like you said earlier, kind of a rough start to the season, but looking a lot more like herself this weekend. So we'll see how she gets into this boulder. Yeah, the smile is back for Natalia, and it's good to see. Look at this straight away into the match. That lower foot with the drop knee versus like having your hips square to the wall is just really the way. It puts you in a much better position. Let's see if she can suss this next part of the boulder out. She's trusting terrible feet here. Ooh, gonna use stretch. that flexibility. Granted, this is bringing her a little low. Uh, it yeah, she's, gonna have hard. To, she's gonna have to bring that right foot back at some yeah. point. But maybe just taking a second to rest. She is crimping the top of the hold. Oh. <laughs> right, she stretches to the second dish, which is a bit better. Finds the foot. This is her flash go, remember? Yeah. Pops the first time. She's one move away. Well, I tell you what, there are levels to this game. <laughs> Natalia Grossman. Super good for Natalia. Well, she's in the top spot, followed by Annie Sanders and Oriane Berton. Let's have a look at Boulder 2 instead. There, we, there go. we go. So, possibly facing out to the crowd to start with. Yeah, generally the way that's going to be easier to establish, especially because the angle of the wall will be pushing against them. So with their back to it, it'll be a bit better. And then you can either jump straight to those holds from that back or facing the crowd position or kind of jump and turn, which is also very exciting. <laughs> yeah, I read it as a, like a jump twist. Yeah. But it, as you said, it's possible either way. Oriane eyes it up. It's blind Jump for twist. her. Jump <laughs> twist. Then the foot first method here is what they were intending, but I was thinking that too, that maybe you could just kind of fire to it. Now she did still use the toe hook to readjust, so I'm sure they'll be pleased about that. It also depends yeah. on how you are as a climber. Some people like to lead with the feet and some people don't. Good stuff from Oriane. This is a very Oriane-like boulder. It is. <laughs> All right, out to the right now. It's a big launch over into the corner. It is a jug that final hold, but you have to commit. And the hold her foot is on has the slippery texture in some places and the texture that's actually good to stand on in other places. So she can't really use it that well. So she really has to commit to swinging. Wow. And a flash from Oriane. We said it was her cup of tea. It clearly was. The jump twist seems like it'll be softer on your body. Big height difference between those two athletes, though, so Brooke's definitely going to have to jump a little harder than Orion did. Well, she eyes it there up. There we go. And also, why going that way without the twist makes more sense for her, because having to twist being a shorter climber, doing it the way that was more intended as well, because she is a little smart. I thought about this, too, a heel hook, because when I saw that, I was like, I mean, it's calling for a heel hook. <laughs> Oh, Brooke is wow. Wow. eventually just goes for the power <laughs> method. <laughs> Slaps out to the left, bumps the hand, and now she needs to bring the right foot up like Oriane did, which is quite easy to do, pressing up into the zone. You need to kind of get over this hold a bit so you can kind of come over top or grab underneath like she's doing. We saw Oriane do the over the top method. Uses a toe hook to rest and chalk up. Now she'll release it as she gets set up for this last jump. Gonna walk that foot through, 
see if she goes with two hands or one. Oh, Ooh. just missing it. Even there, you see she kind of uses momentum to kind of get into the jump itself. And it's something she was working on a lot in the off season is these dynamic movements. Yeah, I, I don't know how tall she is in centimeters, but she's like 5'2 with a negative one so, or negative half an inch or something. So she kind of needs to <laughs> be good at those coordination movements as generally one of the smaller athletes out on the wall. I'm glad you're using proper figures rather than the <laughs> centimeter rubbish that we have. <laughs> I, I don't know centimeters. <laughs> Right, Brooke has that left hand locked in. Will she adjust this final move? She's going to go with that momentum again. As if she commits a bit more, I think it's definitely possible. Nice. There we go. If nothing else, that's really exciting. <laughs> it is. A big kick into the wall for Brooke. A bit taller than Brooke is. Yep. There we go. Oh, gosh, just missing it. Look. I thought she might do this. Here we go. I feel like this could be better for her. Eh. That position, I feel like. Yeah, she's facing in once more. I think the fact that she can see it better is why. Yep, there we go. Well, good adjustments for Annie, but she needs to get this right first time here. And we've seen... Oh, no, Brooke she, didn't flash it for me. She might have enough time, actually, to finish the whole thing. Yeah, she should do, but she's going to have to read it perfectly. There won't be time for another attempt, so... Important. And it's really just going to be the final move that's going to be kind of tricky because, again, it's another committing jump. Oh, <laughs> looking at the, at the clock. clock. Yeah. She knows she's going to have to swing that foot over. Already a little hesitant, but let's see if she can make it happen. Five seconds left on the clock. Oh! Always oh. keep evolving the movement because <laughs> they're so good at nailing it. Exactly. We try to bring in holds from different places, holds they haven't seen. But uh, it's a cat and mouse game between the setters and the athletes at the moment. Nice. Really good adjustment there for her. She was honestly, like, not that close on that first attempt. That's a very good adjustment. Right. Well, we know this middle section is fairly steady if you read it correctly. It's funny because the toe hook makes sense, but really, like, you realize quickly that getting out of it is way more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> so Zulu commits to the big swing. Now she'll try to bring that right foot up, but she's finding it quite awkward to bring the feet through here. Just the hand. There we go. Impressed. Grabbing slippery holds. Oh, she's got to rock all the way through that heel. Just not high enough on that last attempt. Really important to engage with the biceps and the shoulders when you do hit these little crimps. Oh, man, just undershot that right hand. Yeah. I do think she'll like this boulder. I feel like the jump is well within her wheelhouse, and that middle section definitely will suit her as well. And she is good at those foot stab moves, too, so. All right, she's eyeing it up. The, oh. Cool. So it's such a strange shot that with the climbers that crouch down, yeah. golem like on a hold. <laughs> oh, gonna go the face in like we saw Annie do. It definitely is a way you can see it a bit better. Oh. Funny, you bet. There. Oh, I thought that was it. Yeah, it didn't quite have the height. Her and time. Annie have similar dimensions, actually. So starting sat down, she reaches up, double pressing to turn around, face the wall. Nice. Much better. I do think jumping backwards that way, you do just kind of need one try at it to get the right idea of how exactly you want to approach it. Approach it. Right, she wraps that finger around the screw on underneath his own hold, matches it. Left hand palming underneath. Uh, awkward foot match that. Yeah, she just needs to get that left hand on a bit better. Looks like she was able to make that happen. I'm gonna have to do another foot swap. Makes it work, steps down to the no tax, finds a texture surface. Realizing she's gonna probably have to go more dynamically, but I don't know. Doesn't really want to do the leg swing. This could work too though, as long as you bring that foot over as you jump. 
Swaps the feet again. Chalks up. Plenty of time for Natalia. Kind of just needs to make a decision and commit to it at this point. Wow, really on the back and forth here. There we go. Oh, not what I was expecting at all. No, she stays low. <laughs> the top's out. Oh, that was cool. Really cool from Natalia. Natalia Grossman in first, then Oriane Berton, silver medal position currently as things stand. Brooke Rabatou, Annie Sanders, Gilles Lulot, and Fanny Gibert make up the rest of our top six. Make it for both disciplines. Exactly, still. yeah. I mean, you want two medals. Well, the Olympics is in the future. Right now, we're focusing on women's number three. Starts on the right, bad feet in order to get stood up, and then this move towards the left. Like, you thought it was okay. I think it just looks so difficult into that zone and moving through it. I don't necessarily know if it's okay. I just feel like they're generally pretty good at that movement yes. is kind of what I said. But yeah, that leaning over kind of like a teeter-totter into the wall, I feel like they've had that movement a lot, which is why it feels like it's going to be scrambly. So I looked at the boulder and I was reading it more as like a run and jump too, which is not exactly what they said, just kind of climbing into it from the bottom or not a run and jump but a run and stand but they sure. were like oh pull on and then stand up into the start so she has to still figure out or no she was still in the right position she's fine all right here she goes falling well, into that corner so you see how perhaps if you start it the other way getting into this hold is a bit easier actually you're a little off not as off balance but we've said it a few times she likes to do things her own way <laughs> it does and it works for her and now that and the jibs on the black volumes, it's dual text as well. And where your thumb would be is, or where her fingers are now, is pretty slippy. She's into the zone now, too. It's specifically to that red screw on, so not the volume. You actually have to be on that red hole. Oh. Wow, not scrambling at all through no. that section. I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult. Gets the toe hooks in. We want to release the toes. This could be another quick send for Orion. Wow. It is. Orion, very happy with that. Having a great round so far. Different method to get into the start. There she is established. Now she can keep moving through the boulder. Drops down to that foot. Talks up as she waits it. And she'll be staring at this move to the left, which is a long, long way to go in with a little momentum for this little rock over into the corner here. Oh, nearly went, yeah. thought better of it, reset. Did you see how she goes? Oh, almost oh. stuck it there. Oof, running out of time here. Still maybe enough time to actually get to the zone. Makes the crimp finds the foot. Which one is she going to go for? She might have one more go after this. Wow! Oh. A lot of fight there from Brooke Rabatou, but does still need to move quickly in order to get to the zone. Yeah, and she's seeing this in a different way. Oh my goodness. Facing out. 12 Just seconds. 10 seconds now. And she wants that zone, needs it. She really needs the zone. Oh. oh. You can see what she's trying to do. She just needs to touch it, use it. Come on, Brooke. It's oh, going to be timed no. out. Dang oh, it. there oh. it is. <laughs> Did oh, definitely well. not in a commercial gym. No, it's very, very unique to this level of climbing. And it's not all about the difficulty when you're at this stage. It's, it's about movement and how hard that movement can be, especially within four minutes. And, and also keeping the movement not so obvious. Even when something might look straightforward, sometimes there's a little more to it. And... That's, that's how you test athletes that are this good, especially with that time limit. It's more about making it so they're not figuring it out right away and they have to kind of work to get those positions. Oh, good first effort from Annie. Yeah. Coming into another hold afterwards. Jump start again. Oh, I oh. thought that was it that time. Oh man. Yeah, it's a hard one because you have to commit fully, but you know that you're falling kind of, and you could just end up like face first on the mat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A face plant would not be fun. No. Right, the mats are squishy. True. There we go. Good work from Annie. And she's got 33 seconds to get this zone and hopefully move through it. There's the zone. Definitely plenty of time 
I think, to actually finish this boulder. As Orion showed us earlier, that part is actually not that hard. So if she can just commit, yeah. she should be able to get a top here, which would be really big for her. Well, this will be her first ever top in a senior final boulder competition. Let's see if she can get it here. Six seconds to go. She's going to have to jump. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was like touch and go there for that a second. Just, too. just taking a sec to refresh her memory with the boulder. It's been a long time she had a look at it. Yeah. Out with the feet again. Didn't get the zone on the last boulder, so really needs to get one here. Yeah, this is important if she wants to stay in touch for a podium place. Looking to bring her right foot up, perhaps. Thinks better of it and gets set for this throw to the left. Goes straight into oh. that underclink. So for the climbers that are a little shorter than Orion, I think that's actually the better method because we've now seen Brooke, Annie, and Jilu do it that way. This could be very big for her. Yeah, this could be a massive moment. What a final we're having here. <laughs> She's got her heels on. Now needs to get, oh, committing. Oh, inching there. Oof. Just keeping it exciting for us. Yeah. <laughs> right, hook with the right. This move not so difficult, but then coming out of this toe hook and setting up for this jump move, really have to be committing. Going to bring that right. It, uh, no. Wow. What I thought she was going to bring it into the zone for a second. All right, here goes this jump, and it's not 100% once you get it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she just one arms it. Wow. Why not? <laughs> that gold medal category is sadly empty so far. But silver and bronze multiple times, definitely something to be proud of. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's such a legend. Yep. I was saying before the stream started that I remember interviewing her like eight years ago when her English wasn't great she was very shy and she's just come on so much as a person as well mm -hmm. as a climber yeah definitely like very comfortable right into that press and she didn't get the zone on the last boulder so getting the zone and topping here would be really big for her yeah she needs this Look at that foot. <laughs> Side rubber in use there. And we were talking earlier about how she is very good at slab and, you know, maybe it wasn't oh. as obvious on the first boulder. And to then bicep -y, high feet, squeezy right after. It's very uh, <laughs> drastic changes that are happening within a move. Yeah, <laughs> it's a complicated series of movements. Wow, so <sighs> efficient on that. Yeah, it makes it just look easy. Right, up she goes again. Already got the zone. That's that side foot move I was saying. Oof. Swings around. High feet this time. Nicely into the crimp. Yeah, much better from Fanny. Would Ooh. be her first top of the round. Tried for a heel hook there and then yeah. went straight back to the Ooh, toe. Wow. Fanny gets stood back up. Easily back into that press. Just needs to suss out the next sections of this boulder. Yeah, will she change this toe position? Oh, wraps her hands around. Let's see, she's gonna go high. Yeah, it goes much higher this time. Sets up so much nicer. Just needs to commit to this jump. It is droppable as we know. Oh, oh. no, just shy sometimes. Maybe, yeah. Or maybe that was when she would leave. I don't know. Yeah. Can't quite remember. All right, here goes Natalia on a flash go. See if she goes for just the undercling for this rock over press move. Oh, going to go just for the triangle. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Switch it up. I feel like Natalia is in a, a bit of an untouchable form here tonight. Yeah, I will, I'll say. Yeah, she's looking... <laughs> Pretty special. Three minutes, 12 to go. Her flash attempt. Big testament to the mental game, honestly, after a couple bad competitions. And again, only bad by her standards. Yeah, <laughs> still very good results. It's still world class. <laughs> right. So it's a little over. lower there, but still worked for her. She is very good at toe hooks, though. Yeah, she's going to have to work out how to unleash it. Does. Drops it down to the lower one. Gets stood up again. Changes the hands. Just needs to commit here. Oh, three fingers. Oh. 
There we go. Natalia Grossman with another top, another oh. flash. Well, there is confirmation of it. Well, Oriane and Annie Sanders will battle it out for a second and third. Gilles Law could still do something here, still in the mix. And Brooke and Fanny a bit too far behind at the moment. So, we'll see. Well, this is our final boulder. Toe this hooks to start. Really looks like Pac-Man now. You have a blue eating the oh, yellow. Oh, that looks like Pac-Man. Yes, I'm with you. <laughs> no, that really does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I took you to trying to make a joke instead of talk about the boulder. No, no, I think you're right. Like, usually as the kid I am, I would have spotted that, but uh, I didn't that time. Well, tricky boulder, this one. Very powerful. So much can change with the uh, order of the boulders. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's usually decided at the last minute. And if you don't believe us, have your own go at 4x4s and switch up the order of your 4x4s. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, Oriane has had quick sends in the last two, so she might feel fresh here into the jug, which She's is She's reading this so well. But it's just power, power, power. Power and tension. And, and also, when you're on an angle like this, you're engaging the entire time. You can never kind of loosen up. You're very tense the whole time. But she is reading this boulder perfectly. So if you were curious on how it can or should be done, this is the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look at this. Shouldery move to come, though. Matches. Wow. And one last massive effort from Oriane and her evening will be oh. done. No. <laughs> really good fight there from Oriane. You know, I had the sun in my eyes for a good like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, this is we'll terrible. give you an umbrella, Mega. It'll be fine. We'll sort it out for tomorrow. <laughs> Oriane getting support from the crowd as she jumps in on right at a minute and a half. Plenty of time to do the boulder, but also plenty of time to rest. All of these movements, very powerful and very necessary to stay tight and engaged the entire time. I don't know if you've ever grabbed a double undercling like that, but that's a lot on the lower back, the lower abs. Yeah, and she can see she's just not quite as fluid this time. Starting to get tired as you would. I was going to say, even just that hesitation. <laughs> Putting on a show. Yeah, that's what she does best. And in silver, all oh, these moves are hard now. Everyone a battle. Honestly, kind of nice for everyone to now see how much harder each movement is, the more fatigued you are, because really the first time she just walked in. I think it's really hard. You see coming into that undercling with both hands, the hips just dropping. Yeah, big moment for Brooke, this. Ooh, Ooh, holds the already swing. Already cut loose there. <laughs> that would have burnt a bit of energy. Let's hope she's still got something in the tank here as she crosses through. So this is actually how I read it originally, not actually going out to that dish first. Um, both methods, depending on who you are as a climber and what you're comfortable doing, clearly working. Looking very fresh here as she chalks up on that terrible hold. Yeah, classic Brook heel there underneath. She's got to set up for that finish hold. Oh, That's wow. It. Woo! And a flash to end the round for Brook. Right, here she goes. Second go. Gets the toe hooks locked in. Changes it to another toe hook. And up to the sloper. We saw Brooke catch with one hand just now. Going straight to that dish again. That adjustment with taking that toe hook out made that way better for her. Really smart. Now it's to still come in and match here. Again, you're seeing that freshness of that match not looking that difficult as we saw Orion do it the first time and then kind of struggle a bit more later on. Yeah, it burns you out, those moves. And Annie doesn't want to release that right hand. Gonna go with the right hand first method now, like Brooke did, because then you don't have to match here. Makes it a little more secure. Oh, yeah, it gets the it's left gonna out. Gonna muster up the power. Oof. Any time, but she's gotten high up on this boulder now, so Hopefully she has enough energy to kind of do that again. We saw that energy get zapped a little bit from Orion, so let's see if Annie has enough in the tank. Yeah, and this will be a PB for her. She was fifth in uh, Korea and fourth if it stays this way. Still looking pretty fresh here. Will she go with the right? She is. Just really needs to muster up the strength. Yeah, that toe hook there is going to help, and she can kind of match to get into this gas tunnel. Oh, just shallow. I love it. 
Okay, here's Gilou, powerful climber. She's only 17, she's 16 when she started climbing the World Cups in last year. Definitely. Ooh, heel hook. Oh, wow, yeah. And again, another athlete that, you know, we've already seen her so far in this competition be really good on this angle. But it's all about efficiency here. So, like, those pauses right there on this first attempt hopefully don't zap her too much. And she looked for a knee bar at one yeah. point as well. Like, ooh, goes up with the left. Thinks Man, it really does set you up to think that that's the way to go. Making really good adjustments, though, like she's been on the wall for quite some time. She's oh. still, like, fighting and making use of every bit of this first attempt. Two fingers keeping her on, that horribly oh. slopey pocket thing. The whole crowd is behind her, hoping she can get to this final hold here. Looks like she's going to go for the big move. Oh, my gosh, she's making me so nervous. <laughs> she's trying to get, like, a little knee scum there, too. And yeah. we saw Orion came up and kind of pressed to try to get into it. Oh, she lost the right foot. How oh, is she still on? Gosh, no her idea. left hand has been locked in that position for many seconds. I honestly feel like I can't breathe. Well, hold your breath if you're at home. Gilles Law is going to no. go down, though. Smart. She's pushing things here. This probably is going to be her last go on this. Let's see. Into the second toe hook. Up to the slopers. Back Again to that heel. heel. It just looks awkward, doesn't it? It does. Right, into the first underclink. Matches. 50 seconds, maybe time for two. She's not pumped out of this. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah. She's going to try again, though. Yeah, she is. But this boulder just saps your energy every time. It's a hard angle, and then again, you just... Those movements are so much more powerful. Even though the holes aren't that far apart, you're, you're flipping, you're pouncing, you're pulling with your heels, your abs, your lower back. It's all happening and on such a steep angle. So it just really does zap you more than you think. Got to the same place, which is a good effort. It's considering. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Could still move up from where she is if she tops, I believe. Oh, no. Already into number four. Fanny going into that heel hook as well, we s but using it differently than we saw Jilu do it. The left hand on the underclink brings the toe up. Oof, a little thrutchier than um, some of the other methods, I feel like. But honestly, if you can just, uh, I was just gonna say, if you can, this boulder, see if she can make some adjustments to conserve some energy here. Up she comes into the underkling again. High toe. Rocks up on that. It looked a little smoother that time, which is necessary. Going to go left hand first. She could match here. It's just a little tricky, and I can imagine with the heat, though it has gotten cooler, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. A, degrees, a couple of degrees might make a difference. It is very awkward to match there. Again, that hold is not good. <laughs> no, and she, I think she's realized it. There now we go. The right. Wow, very nice. Grit from Fanny Schubert. That is something she definitely has. Ugh. Ugh. And then down. Let's see if Fanny can make enough adjustments here to get to the top of this boulder. Definitely looking a little fatigued though. It gets the underclings in, goes oh, to the left I'm again. I'm surprised by this. Me too, because she changed. She would drop right back. Oh, oh, beautiful. All right, well, she's found the heel, but Into it's still a big it. move. <laughs> it's still a big shouldery catch, this. It is. Oh, wow. Oh, great effort there from Fanny. I wonder uh, what made her go back to that, because she completely... ...round where she didn't make finals for the first time in a long time. That allowed Brooke to win that comp, but Natalia is back in a big, big way. And remember, the next time that she will compete in a boulder. She's potentially going to be against a returning Yanya Gambra as well, which is a mouth-watering prospect. <laughs> Everyone's excited to see it. Really working through the bottom section of this boulder quickly. And, you know, she's climbed a lot of these boulders very quickly, so she does have a bit more energy than maybe some of the other athletes. Taking a second to chalk up like we saw Brooke Rabbit to do as well. Going to set up to go to that top hold and... Easy money for Natalia Grossman. Bit of a masterclass, that. Well, that's four out of four. The 
flowers have arrived, which is good. So Natalia Grossman, Orian Berton and Brooke Rabbity make up our podium. And she is back in a big, big way. She never really left, let's be honest.